For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to the Index Life. It's basically my audio diary, you could say. Basically, whenever something's on my mind and I want to get it out, but it's not really worth making a video about, I do this. It's just a little something for you to listen to. And honestly, it's more for me to listen to than anybody else. I would recommend, if you want to, I would recommend doing this yourself. Just like once, once a week. Just sit down and talk about something that's on your mind for like 10 minutes. And it, it just helps. It hel One, it makes you a better speaker. I think, I think it's made me a better speaker doing these. And two, getting your thoughts into words helps you understand them a lot better. So that's why I enjoy doing these things. And the thing on my mind today is recessions. Because, my God, people will not shut up all week about if we're in a recession or not. Uh, you have the one side that's that's like, Oh, you, you idiots, that definition of a recession being two quarters of GDP falling, that's a myth. That was never the definition. You're, you're stupid. We're not in a recession. And then you have the other side going, going you, you assholes, you changed the definition of a recession. We are in a recession. I hate you. That, like... And it's silly, to me anyway, it's silly because it doesn't matter whether whether you call it that or not. One of the most pointless big arguments going on right now, and I want to quickly read a quote from Romeo and Juliet. It's one of the more popular quotes from Shakespeare. It goes, a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. The In the story, the point of that line has to do with Romeo, but... The line itself is basically saying, you know, if you take a rose and you think roses look nice and you think they smell nice, and then the, the king of English shows up and goes, eh, from now on we're calling roses Hut Huts. That's the new name. You, just because it's called something different, it still looks and smells the exact same. So if you liked roses before, you're still going to like them, even if they're called Hut Huts or some other stupid name. And how that relates to the recession talk is it doesn't matter whether you officially say it's a recession or not doesn't help or hurt anybody. You know, you, you're never going to have somebody, you're never going to have a company go, okay, we got good news and we got bad news. The bad news is we're laying off half the employees and uh, we're cutting salaries by 20%. Uh, the good news is we're not technically in a recession. You see, you see how that doesn't help. That doesn't actually make anyone feel better. Meanwhile, if you get a raise at work and the White House comes out and says, "Hey, we're in a recession," that doesn't hurt you. You still, you're still doing well personally, and you'll 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 see this a lot. I pay attention to this. I don't know how many people do pay attention to it, but there are so many arguments that are just about like the English name of something instead of actually being about the topic at hand. Like there are more people talking about. Are we in a recession? Are we not in a recession? There are more people arguing that than arguing, how do we fix the economy? That is, that is one of the last things people are talking about, because that's actually hard. It's hard to fix an economy of 400 million people in a country that's like 3,000 miles across. What is easy to argue about is what we call it, the name part. That's why everyone's arguing about it, because it's easy to sit there and do that, as opposed to actually fixing problems. And where this is really an issue is I see uh, investors falling into this trap where they're like, yeah, I'm waiting for the GDP numbers to come out because if we're in a recession, I'm going to sell my stocks. That, is, that doesn't make any sense because, one, it's backwards looking. Like when we get the GDP numbers in, those are numbers about what the economy's already done. So it's not like you're getting a head start selling now. You should have sold a month ago when the recession was actually happening. And two, it doesn't make sense because, there, you know, it's not like, one day of the month, you're sitting there happy with your investments, and then the next day, the government changes the name of something, and then you're like, "Well, I can't, I can't own stocks anymore. I better sell them." The amount, the amount of worry and fear people put on names is is the point of this whole talk is that people put so much emphasis on on language instead of instead of what's actually happening. This, this may not be the best example, but first thing that's coming to mind is like when people talk about growth stocks versus value stocks. And somebody will be like, oh, you know, I only invest in growth stocks. And then it falls like 90%. So it turns out it wasn't really a growth stock at all. It was more, <laughs> turns out it was actually just a shitty stock. I saw a comment that said Joseph Carlson said that Netflix was a, a value stock at 700. It turns out just because he called it a value stock didn't stop it from falling 75% or however much it fell. But yeah, have a great weekend, guys. I appreciate all the support on the uh, last video, so thank you guys for that.
And you guys have a wonderful day.